Hello students, good afternoon all of you. So today we are going to discuss about another very very important chapter that is wave optics. Right, previous all I told very clearly optics we can classify into two parts. One is ray optics, second one is so wave optics that means geometrical optics as well as so physical optics. Physical optics nothing but wave optics. Physical optics nothing nothing but wave optics right in the geometrical optics we learn so many concepts that is so only ray ray that means the light is traveling traveled that means only ray form that means incident ray reflected ray what is reflection what is refraction yes or no so refraction through lens refraction through prism refraction Yes or no? Through water. So like that so many concepts we learn already. Alright. So now that is a new concept that is the wave optics. The new topic is the wave optics. We can observe once. So what is that? Wave optics. In the name is gives. So some uh, one meaning right? Correct or not? In the name only will be the wave. Wave optics. What is the meaning of wave optics? What is the meaning of wave optics? Correct? That means the light is having wave nature. The light is having wave nature. Correct only? Na? So that, that's why here first concept I have given introduction topic only. In the introduction we are discussing about what is the nature of light. What is the nature of light? That means some people, some scientists they are told the light is made up of very small particles very small particles that means which is having so particle nature the light is having particle nature and some scientists too they are told like that what is that the light is in light is having wave nature light is having wave nature some people told it is the longitudinal wave some people they are told this is the, not a longitudinal electromagnetic wave nature. Correct? So which is correct? So light is having particle nature or wave nature. Particle nature or wave nature. That is the so great discussion in that time only. That time is a great discussion. So which is the correct? Particle nature is correct. Wave nature is correct. What is the correct answer? What is the reason? What is the answer? Wave nature or particle nature. Wave nature or particle nature. That is our chapter. Okay, that is the introduction topic only. So for that purpose, only so many member scientists came into the so picture. So they will give you their evidence as well as their assumption points. Correct or not? That means what is what is what is the conclusion? What is the question here? So what is the nature of light? What is the nature of light? That means either particle or wave. Light is particle nature or wave nature. Which is the correct? Which one is correct? That is our question. Right. So, wave nature of light. In this chapter, we will give us what is that? Wave nature of light. That means light is having wave nature. But this is the correct or wrong? For that purpose only, so many theories came into our picture. Now, one by one, we will see. That the theories. So that's what here. Second question is theories of light. Theories of light. For that purpose, this many members came into our picture. Right? So first one is Newton's corpuscular theory. Newton's corpuscular theory. So first scientist Newton only. So for this purpose only, right? So Newton is given. So this was the this theory. What is that? Newton's corpuscular theory. Next, Dutch scientist Huygens. Huygens. Huygens wave theory. Huygens wave theory. Next, Maxwell electromagnetic wave theory. Maxwell electromagnetic wave theory. Next, Einstein quantum theory. Einstein quantum theory. Like that we are having so four theories. First one is Newton corpuscular theory and Huygens wave theory and electromagnetic wave theory and quantum theory. Right. According to Newton's what he given his assumption is what? 
right is given this point solima so next first word is what is that newton's corpus circular theory newton's corpus circular theory is a given in this manner what is that on the basis of rectilinear propagation of light on the basis of rectilinear propagation of light newton assumed that newton assumed that a light source emits tiny particles in all directions is a very very important point what is that newton assumed that a light source emits tiny particles in all directions tiny particles are in all direction tiny part that means the light can emit very small very small particles very small particles these particles are called corpuscles these particles are called corpuscles that's what this is called newton's corpuscular theory is a given he assumed like that what is that the light can emit can emit very small particles that particles are called corpuscles that particles are called corpuscles at the same time they are called corpuscles okay and it can move in elastic in ela sorry in rectilinear propagation it can move rectilinear that means it can move straight line which one corpuscles corpuscles can move in the so straight line and one more point what is that light is made of very small particles called corpuscle this one has one more point what is that light is made of very small particles these particles are called corpuscles these particles are called particles and also remember these particles are having what nature elastic nature this one is having elastic nature and rigid nature and these are the massless particle massless particle and these are having so different different shape and sizes different shape and different sizes these are the some points is given and also he given one more important point also that is so we are getting different different colors correct the light is having the component seven component colors right this topic already i have given in the so dispersion of light also what is dispersion the splitting of white light into its seven component colors why this seven colors is given why white light is having this uh, compound colors seven colors are there that that one also he given explanation what is that the different colors are happen because of their sizes the particle sizes like that he given right i have read that point also hmm. and also he explained as some points and again so different colors of light due to different sizes of corpuscles right correct or not so what is the question here why is the light is having different colors why is the light is having different colors what is the reason behind that for that purpose he given this explanation what is that different colors of light due to different sizes of corpuscles different sizes of that mean different corpuscles the corpuscles are having different different size different different size that mean wavelength the, the because of wavelength because of different wavelengths because of different wavelength the light is having different colors the light is having different colors right next point and also corpuscles travel in straight line yes corpuscles can travel in the straight line <coughs> and it can travel so what is that it can travel in 
different speed in different medium yes this point very very important point mark so carpuscles travel in straight line and it can travel in different speed in different medium different medium remember very very important point different medium so for this purpose i will give small explanation here so for example here we are having rare air medium as well as dense air medium rare air medium and dense air medium okay different medium this is the if i take this is the air this is the water <coughs> water itself right the light ray travel from where to where so rare air medium to dense air medium rare air medium to dense air medium he told very clearly in the air the speed of light is different in the water the speed of light is different then so which one is greater which one is smaller where the speed of light is more where the speed of light is less just wait afterwards i will tell uh, what is the given explanation according to newton right okay that means here corpuscles can travel in the straight line it can travel in different speed in different medium so the speed of light is different in different medium so that is the point and along with that he explained rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear propagation of light that means so the particles are traveling in the straight line this is known as rectilinear propagation of light rectilinear propagation of light right next one he explained so the reflection of corpuscles the reflection of corpuscles right reflection so reflection <clears throat> what is the meaning of reflection reflection nothing but bouncing back of light into the same medium correct or not okay so now i will consider here one of a reflecting surface this is a reflecting surface so now corpuscles so this is a very small particle so direct the particles can travel in the straight line like that itself so it can strike and it can rebound the bouncing back of light in the same medium from reflecting surface so this is the incident ray this is the reflecting ray this is the normal light this is the normal light angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection these are all clearly he explained right that one also correct all right next one so refraction so refraction what is the meaning of refraction refraction is nothing but so the light ray travel from one medium to another medium one medium to another the bending of light the bending of light when the light is travel from one medium to another medium so at point of deviation so this is the so point of striking there so this is the incident ray right and refracted ray this is the refracted ray bending towards or away right this and all we learn already in the ray optics right according to uh, newton so corpuscles these are the corpuscles so corpuscles are moving in the rare air medium to dense air medium rare air medium to dense air medium after striking the so incident surface then what happened the reflected the this were refracted particles refracted particles are moving towards normal towards normal right okay yeah, correct what is that the light ray travel from rare air medium dense air medium the refracted ray moves towards normal moves towards normal yes this explanation also correct but some people they ask like that one sir why sir the light is bending this side why is that the corpuscles are corpuscles are bending this side what is the reason behind that what is the reason behind that and that they ask you question so in that time the newton is given explanation like that itself what is that so in the rare air medium the number of particles are less comparatively dense air medium in the dense air medium dense air medium particles are more will be there particles are more will be there therefore at this point particle will be there our corpuscle corpuscle is having 
मोर अट्रैक्शन पावर मोर अट्रैक्शन पावर मोर अट्रैक्शन पावर कंपैरेटिवली इन द रेयर आर मीडियम इन द रेयर आर मीडियम सो व्हाट वुड बी देयर लेस अट्रैक्शन पावर शुड बी देयर एंड इन द डेंस आर मीडियम मोर अट्रैक्शन पावर विल बी मोर अट्रैक्शन फोर्स विल बी देयर मोर अट्रैक्शन फोर्स is there because of that attraction force the particles are accelerated the particles are accelerated because of attraction force because of attraction force the particles are accelerated the particles are accelerated accelerated mean the particles are having more velocity in denser medium more velocity in denser medium like that we talk the speed of light is more in denser medium comparatively rarer medium like that we talk the speed of light the speed of light is more in denser medium less in rarer medium this point is given newton but this is the experimentally so not a correct experimentally experimentally is given by our famous scientist foucault our famous scientist foucault foucault is given experimentally the speed of light is more in rare or medium less in dense or medium the speed of light is more in rare or medium less in dense or medium so this is the drawback of Newton's Carpenter's theorem is a drawback of Newton Carpenter's theorem. Okay, and also that is the main thing to remember. Man, what is that? The denser medium speed of light is more, rarer medium is less according to Newton's. But experimental forecast is given. The speed of light is more in uh, rarer medium, less in denser medium. Like that, he given explanation as well as he did not explain. He cannot. explain we cannot explain about interference of light interference of light this and all will come in the wave optics interference of light this and all we did not discuss in the ray optics right so he did not explain about diffraction about diffraction diffraction he did not explain so next to polarization so polarization polarization also he did not explain these three topics he did not explain that's what here so newton's carpenter's theory finally rejected finally rejected why we get this is the drawback will be there at the same time so interference of light diffraction of light polarization of light these three concept he did not explain so so that so his concept his theory is rejected after that in 167 uh, 1675 he explained this one 1678 one more scientist is came he is the dutch scientist his name is christian huygens christian huygens now we are going to discuss about we are going to discuss about huygens wave theory Huygens wave theory in the chapter so so many concepts we will learn with the help of Huygens only with the help of Huygens and also remember Huygens is given the light is having wave nature but Newton is given the light is having particle nature the light is having particle nature uh, and Huygens says light is having wave nature so which one is the correct which one is the correct so for that purpose only so so many members came into our picture so what is that so maxwell and thomas eng thomas eng is explained with the help of his experiments interference also and as he also told the light is having wave nature it is the given support to uh, support to huygens and maxwell also told maxwell also is given like that what is that so it is having wave nature but electromagnetic wave nature electromagnetic wave nature he did not explain maxwell maxwell he did not explain about interference 
and diffraction as well as polarization. That's what that one also dissected. But one point we constructed. What is that? So the light is having electromagnetic wave nature. Electromagnetic wave nature. That point is very, very important. Right. So now we'll discuss about what are the uh, Huygens wave theory. What is the Huygens wave theory? What is that point? We'll discuss now itself. Uh, right. So now Huygens wave theory. Huygens wave theory. Huygens wave theory of light. So according to Huygens, he assumed that a source of light emits light in the form of wave. That is the first point. What is that? He assumed like that. What is that man? He given what is that? So the a source of light, a source of light emits light in the form of wave. Is a not a experimental, just he assumed only. The light is having wave nature. Light is in the form of wave. In the form of wave. And according to Heisen, sorry, Heigen, Heigen's light is assumed to be, is a word is very, very important, ma, mechanical wave. That means mechanical longitudinal wave. It all like that only. It is the light is mechanical longitudinal wave. Mechanical longitudinal mechanical waves. Langer waves to transfer waves only, right? So he given longitudinal wave nature. Yes or no? He assumed like, what is that? The light is in the form of wave. Light is in the form of wave. So then what type of waves? Mechanical. Alright? Or else non-mechanical. But he told mechanical. Okay, mechanical wave. In a mechanical, again two types. Again three types are there. Longitudinal. Yes or no? Sorry, two types. Longitudinal and transfer waves. Longitudinal and transverse. Okay, so he assumed that these are the mechanical longitudinal wave. Mechanical wave mean compulsory medium is required. Correct? That's what here. Mechanical wave mean medium is required. Medium is required. So, for that purpose, what medium he assumed? Which medium he assumed? Yes. So, and in order to explain propagation of light, he assumed a hypothetical medium called ether. A hypothetical medium. Hypothetical medium. Is called medium is called ether. That's the most important word. This one you can remember everybody. For example, here we are having this is the sun. This is the sun itself? So now sun is given light. Light is coming in the form of wave, not a transverse. So like that. That one longitudinal wave. So this is the coming in this direction. So this is the earth surface only, this is the earth. Okay. So the space universe, complete this universe. This universe can have one medium. That medium is ether. And also remember, this ether is having one special property. What is that special property? So ether was supposed to have very high elastic medium, very high elasticity and extremely low density. It is having low density as well as high elastic nature, high elastic medium. Is a high elastic, elastic, high elastic medium as well as low density. Which one? Ether. Ether is spread everywhere. The ether is spread everywhere. Universe, total universe, total universe is spread with the help of ether. Why? Because medium is required. Right? Correct, Alina? For mechanical wave purpose, what is required? Medium is required. So that he assured, yes, one medium will be there. That medium name is ether. That medium name is ether. This ether is spread the total universe. And also, this ether is having some special property. What is that? High elastic, high elasticity as well as low density. 
it is having low density as well as high elasticity correct so that's what the light can propagate light can propagate through that medium through that medium let that be assumed these are the points of high density what is the first point? Huygens first point. So Huygens assumed that a source of light emits light in the form of waves. And second point, according to Huygens, light is assumed to be a mechanical wave. And in order to explain propagation of light, he assumed a hypothetical medium is called ether. So that due to tremendous speed of light, Tremendous speed of light. Ether was supposed to have very high elasticity and extremely low density. And ether is spread everywhere. Right. Conclusion point, remember what? What is that? So, medium is required. That medium is ether. The light is having wave nature. That's what medium is. Mechanical wave. Mechanical wave purpose compulsory medium is required. That medium is ether. Ether is occupied total universe. It is having so what is that? Uh, high elasticity and extremely low density. So that's why right. through that medium the light can travel. The light can travel. Anybody he told. And so he did not explain. He did not explain. He cannot explain so first one is interference interference he did not explain interference of light and diffraction and diffraction next polarization polarization also diffraction Diffraction, polarization, he did not explain. This is the about wave theory. Right? So, afterwards, Maxwell came. Maxwell is giving. So, the light is not a... The light is according to Maxwell. Ma. So, now third one. Third person, what is that? Maxwell, electromagnetic wave nature. Electromagnetic wave nature. The light is having electromagnetic wave nature. Not a longitudinal wave nature. Experimentally, he given. Okay, very, very important point. This one already we learned in the class uh, 12th only. So, chapter number 8. Electromagnetic waves. With gear, color, all those things we learn here. What is that? The light is having, very, very important point. Of, so, it is having electromagnetic wave nature. Not a longitudinal wave net. This is experimental he given. And he did not explain. He did not explain. What is that? So interference and diffraction and polarization. Interference, diffraction, polarization. He did not explain. Of course, this one also rejected. But one point made very, very important. What is that? Electromagnetic wave nature. Electromagnetic wave nature. So this is explanatory. So plus, so quantum theory came. Quantum theory. So fourth one is quantum. Quantum theory. So this is given by Einstein only. But Einstein is a famous law according to his photoelectric effect. According to his theory, his theory. What is that? Uh, photoelectric effect with help of that concept he given the light is having a particle nature the light is having particle nature again discussion which one is correct particle nature is correct wave nature is correct but he experimental he given the light is having particles with help of photoelectric theory so photoelectric theory this will come in the dual nature next chapter in that time i will explain all right so again discussion finally fifth one so what is that de broglie wave theory electron wave theory electron wave theory electron wave theory this is given by de broglie only is a given com finally conclusion what is that the light is having two natures 
Canada that means which is having particle nature as well as wave nature which is having particle nature as well as wave nature that's what light is having dual nature dual nature of radiation dual nature of radiation that is the final conclusion the light is having dual nature particle nature as well as wave nature this is the conclusion finish man so now we will discuss about a very 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 important concept that is the wave Huygens wave theory again that means Huygens principle Huygens principle what is the wave front what are the types of wave front okay so what is wave front this and all we we'll discuss now itself this is the very very important till now we are discussed only introduction topic that is the theories only now we are entering into first concept that is the Huygens principle Huygens principle what is the Huygens is given what points is given so some points I will write after that I will give you Huygens principle so Huygens principle tomorrow I will give you today I will give you about explanation of explanation of uh, wave front what is a wave front what are the types of wave front this and all now we will discuss right okay uh, right so Huygens is given so many apl applications and also he explained about uh, reflection as well as refraction so reflection refraction very very important questions according to Huygens you can explain reflection and refraction very very important three mark question as well as five mark question mark so reflection is the three mark question refraction is the five mark question so this one also is explained but he did not explain interference and polarization and diffraction right so now Huygens principle before Huygens principle I will give you some definitions Huygens principle we can define with the help of these and all definitions right first one so what is that wave front wave front what is wave front what is wave front wave front is nothing but it is the locus of all points of a medium which are vibrating in same phase what is that in it is the locus of all points of a medium which are vibrating in same phase which are vibrating in same phase sir what is that meaning sir right i will give you for example i have there one of a source of light one of a source of light for example this is the point source i will consider this is the source of light point source and also i told very clearly the light is the what nature wave nature what type of wave transverse in nature remember transverse in nature transverse in nature means like that one this is the transverse in nature but remember the wavelength is very small wavelength is very small like that one very small wavelength is very small will be there that's what uh, the light can appear so line like that one but actually the light is having crust and trough crust and trough crust and trough like that one but uh, the wavelength is very small wavelength is very small that's what it can appear so line it can appear as a line right okay so now i will consider one point source source of light is a source of point source so now from here go to here so what is that crust and trough for understanding purpose i can draw a little bit of crust and trough like that one is that crust and trough not only one direction the light can emit all directions so that here again one more direction this is the crust and trough and crust and trough again crust or trough or crust or trough crust and trough crust and trough again here also crust and trough in all directions wherever you see so in this manner So this is the crust and trough, crust and trough, all directions. So now, uh, what is that? Wave front. Wave front to mean 
at the same distance at the same distance mean for example from here to here x distance from here to here x1 distance from here to here x2 distance in t1 seconds correct or not so now i will consider so this is a crust and a crust and a crust and a crust 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 this all crust we can combine and together one line i drawn this all crust all crust that is the locus of all points the locus of all points wherever you see this distance is x distance this distance is the x distance x distance x distance x distance x and x wherever you see the distance is x so all crust or else all trough 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 so all trough you can join together so that joining line the joining line is known as wave front so again here second so crust 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 and crust so these all lines we can join together right that is the meaning of wave front wave front is nothing but what is that it is the locus of all points of a medium which are vibrating in same phase that word is most important what is that same phase same phase same phase you know already in the uh, wave chapter i had a formula so progressive wave formula what is the progressive wave formula y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx so plus phi right okay so now what is this meaning omega t plus kx this is the phase is the phase what is the meaning of x so what is that wave distance uh, correct or not so wave displacement wave displacement displacement of wave so what is the meaning of t t is nothing but time so what is the meaning of y so displacement of particle displacement of particle the particle displacement this is the so displacement of wave is a time on this is the phase this is the phase so for example i will give you here this is a point a point to b and point c and d so on like that d e okay f g h like that i have given at this point from here to to here i will consider the x distance from here to here x distance from here to here x distance so x distance wherever you see the distance is x distance is x time is equal to t t is equal to t1 seconds i will consider so distance is equal to x is equal to x okay then phase is equal to phase at a phase at a what is that omega t1 plus k x at b omega t1 plus k x so wherever you see at h point also final point omega t1 plus k x that means these are all same phase these are all same phase same phase that is the meaning of same phase that means we want to consider in the same phase same phase for example one more example i will give you one more example so uh, this is the what is that water surface water surface water is going in the plane way that means so for example river i took this is the uh, point source mean point source is nothing but uh, so i can drop one stone into the water like that only correct uh? so like that i can drop then what happen your concentric circles concentric circles so spheres can form right first sphere second sphere third fourth like that uh, so concentric spheres can form. that is the point source now so river waves i will consider like that only waves right so this is the so water surface only so first wave and second wave that means crust and trough so crust and trough crust and trough crust and trough so all waves okay previous what happened there previous case find source find source means this is a point so first wave front second wave front third wave front 
Like that, concentric spheres. We got already previous. That means this is the uh, crust and a crust and a crust. All crust are the same face. We can join. This line is known as face. That line is known as a face. So similarly, now these are all crust. We can join all crust together with the help of one line. Is a one line. Is a one line. This is the other line. Right? This line is known as wave front. Wave front. Wave front. What type of wave front, sir? So that's what we are, we are having. So again, two types or three types of wave front will be there. One is spherical wave front. Second one, plane wave front. Cylindrical wave front. Spherical wave front and cylindrical wave front and plane wave front. Right? This is the plane wave front. Plane wave front. This is the meaning of wave front. So finally, one more time. What is the meaning of wave front? All crust are trough. We can join with the line. That line is known as wave front. But the definition we will give you like that itself. That is the meaning for understanding purpose. Like that I told you. Joining the line like that. But according to definition, what is that? It is the locus of all points of a medium which are vibrating in same phase. This word is very, very important part. Same phase. At the same phase, we can join. That is the locus of all points. Join the all points. That line, that sphere, okay, is known as uh, wave front. Right. One more important point here. So, this is second point. Ma. The direction of, the direction of a propagation of wave, the direction of, the direction of propagation, the direction of propagation of wave is always perpendicular to the wave front. Perpendicular to the wave front. Propagation of wave mean, propagation of wave, wave mean, so light. What is that? The ray of light. The light ray, the light ray, the light ray, light ray, this one, propagation of wave mean, we will consider that is the light ray. So, the direction of propagation of wave is always perpendicular to the, perpendicular to the wave front, perpendicular to the wave front, very, very important point by this one. So, what is that? For example, here, so these are the waves. These are the waves. So, plane waves. That are not a concentric uh, sphere here. So, plane wave front purpose only. So, crest, 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 crest. We can draw one line. Then this is called a wave front. This is a plane wave front. Is a plane wave front. So again one more. This is the again one more plane wave front. So plane wave front. Wherever you see, this is the this is the plane surface. Now this is the direction of wave. Is a direction of wave propagation. The direction of propagation of wave is a plane surface. Like that will be there. So therefore here our angle is almost will be there. Ninety degrees. That plane. So wherever you see the direction of propagation of wave is always perpendicular to the wave front. This word is very, very important. So similarly, spherical wave front also I will give you. Spherical wave front. Is a point source. Is a point source. So now, is a crust or trough and a crust or trough and a crust or trough and a crust or trough. Right? This point, this point, this point, this point I can join. So like that itself. I can join. So, look like an arc like that one, right? So, I can join in this direction. So, this is called, what is that? Wave front. This is the direction of wave. This is the direction of wave. Direction of wave. Direction of wave. Direction of propagation of wave. So, this is the direction of wave. Now, this is the, so what is that? Wave front. Wave front. At any period, wherever you see, what happened here? Is the 90 degree. 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 Yes or no? So, in the 
in the first second chapter we discussed already what is that equi uh, potential equi potential surface equi potential surface also we will give you so wave uh, optics concept uh, that means concentric spheres concentric sphere yes or no there also uh, the potential uh, sorry electric field is yes, the electric field will come so these are the what is that concentric uh, spheres that mean equi potential surfaces equi potential surfaces but here what is that wave front first wave front second wave front third wave front right so this is a direction of wave direction of wave direction of propagation of wave mean the light ray the direction of light ray direction of light ray is the perpendicular to the uh, concentric curve uh, sorry a uh, wave front this is the about wave front wave front is nothing but it is the locus of all points of a medium of a medium which are vibrating in the same phase vibrating in the same phase right this is the wave front very 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 important mark. so now we are having uh, three types types of wave front next concept is what next concept is uh, that means first to second third point now types types of wave front types of wave front first one is spherical wave front spherical wave front that means the wave front is in spherical shape the wave front is in spherical shape is known as spherical wave front the shape of wave front is spherical the shape of wave front is spherical that is known as spherical wave front so spherical wave front purpose we will consider point source point source all right just now i have given only is a point source is the first wave front and the second wave front and the third wave front this is the direction of light the direction of light so the direction of light you can track can move in all direction wherever you see the angle is 90 degree 90 degree is a point source is a point source spherical wave front spherical wave front spherical wave front if i observe this one so like that like that will be there spherical wave front all right so next one so next one is a uh, plane wave front plane wave front plane wave front this is we will consider so we will consider source of source of light at infinity source of light at infinity source of light at infinity so that will here the rays are moving instant rays some light rays are moving in the uh, in this direction that means so where to where infinity to that side that means like that only so 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 Right, 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 so crust, 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 we can join like that only, so now this is, we can add it like that only, so now this is a pure plane one, is a plane wave front, so that's what here, I can draw directly, plane wave front, plane wave front, plane wave front, we will consider, so in this map, is a plane wave front, plane wave front this is the direction of wave this is the direction of plane so 90 degrees always angle is 90 degrees will be there that is the so plane wave front similarly third one third one third one is cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front cylindrical cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front is nothing but here we will consider linear linear source linear source or line of source line 
so we'll consider one of your line line of source so now here the we will consider so the direction of light in this direction this direction this direction this direction all directions here 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 so in all directions now we can join this one so we can join this one so now we can add it this one so this is the what is it cylinder okay so like that cylinder can form so cylindrical so cylinder cylindrical will form cylindrical will form cylindrical wave front are you clear is a cylindrical wave types of wave front similarly the wave front in different in different material different in different material for example what is the wave front through convex lens and concave lens right okay so now wave front in convex and concave lens concave lens right so now so the light rays are coming from at infinity so now i will consider this is the what is that a concave lens concave lens this is the instant ray this is the instant rays are moving in this direction correct huh? so after striking the lens what would be happen the refracted rays meet at so i will consider this is the principal axis okay so meet at on the principal axis on the principal axis on the principal axis at the point this point is known as focus Correct? Right, uh, so these are plane waves. That mean here wave front is before refraction. This is the plane wave front. After that, here this is a concentric sphere only, right? Circles. So like that. So after, so what happened here? So spherical wave front. Spherical wave front. Similarly, concave lens. Similarly. Concave lens, right? Concave lens. I will consider this is a concave lens. So this is the instant rays. This is a principal axis. Okay. Ah, then what happened? Diverts. It can diverts. Right? Ah, so appear to meet. Appear to meet. appear to me so now this is the before the refraction is the plane wave front so after so what happened so concentric sphere like that concentric this is the so spherical wave front remember this is the converging wave front is the diverging like that will be there correct huh? so this is the converging so converging time So what happened? Convergent time. So like that one, wave front. So now diverging. Is that diverging wave front? Diverging wave front, converging wave front. That means a spherical wave front. Spherical wave front in the uh, is the diverging. Is the diverging? This is the converging. Yes. Point source. Right. So. Similarly, through prism. So through prism. So prism, I will consider like that itself. Okay. So these are the incident rays. Incident rays in which direction plane wave front can form before refraction. Yes or no? So after emergent rays will come in this direction. So there also again, what is that? Wave front. That means here also plane wave front. Here also plane wave front. In prism. In prism. Similarly, 
in concave mirror as well as convex mirror concave mirror and a convex mirror so i will consider now oh, this is the concave mirror so these are the incident this is the principal axis right after striking the mirror so it can reflected in this direction correct or not this is the focus is the focus these are the plane waves plane wave front before reflection after reflection so concentric uh, circles so what is that spherical wave front so this is the plane wave front similarly what is that concave mirror convex mirror now convex mirror convex mirror so convex mirror so now i will consider like that itself yes is the incident rays is a principal axis of what happened diverge it can diverge right so appear to meet appear to meet so this is the plane wave front of that this is the spherical wave front spherical wave front like that so spherical wave front this is the plane wave front take ma this is the about about uh wave front and theories of theories of uh light theories of light this is the concept today concept tomorrow i will explain huygens principle and refraction according to huygens reflection according to uh, huygens these are all topics tomorrow i will explain okay so thank you everybody again again you have to see this video you will get the clarity you will get the clear idea thank you to one and all thank you